back to another Chris the Fish 03 video and boy have I got a treat for you. Right, so if you've watched the last video, you'll know of a few things that we had changed. So, today is just basically letting you know what's happened and what I've done so far. And my god, I am absolutely buzzing about what I've got now. Alright, so do you remember I told you about this really rubbish bright light that I've got? Well, I now have the LED strip light. So, what I'm going to be doing is hopefully tomorrow that will be getting installed, which means the light across the whole room will be a hell of a lot better. The light switch will be moved over by the door. That light will be gone, and obviously I won't have to use these lights either. But that's not the best bit. Do you remember all those platies? They've gone already. Free 100 platies, and I've swapped them for something amazing. Okay, so what we've got in here now, I'm about to show you. One lot is for free. One lot is what I've swapped for the platies, if you can believe it or not, because I'm still in shock. Alright, so we'll start with another freebie. There's about 15 uh, convict cichlids in here. So they're going to be going into the angel's tank. They're only small, so they'll be alright. I might have to move them on as they get bigger, or just move them around to different tanks. Might even get away with putting some in the tote, but if I put them in now, they'll just be food. And yes, I know it's the cycle of life, but I'm not that cruel. Now moving on to what I swapped the platies for. I have got a beautiful breeding pair of flower horns. A male, which I wanted, and even came with a female. Obviously, being a breeding pair, that was obvious to anybody. But if you already know... That one is a female, that one I've moved over to this tank, it's just hiding in the log now, that's a female, so now I now have three females and my male, I am absolutely buzzing like hell that I've got these, now apparently yes they are a breeding pair but they kind of keep fighting so I'm going to split them up to start with and then slowly introduce them again which means this female here is going to be going over to the 200 and I'm going to put the new female in there and then the new male is going on that side obviously as these two get bigger I'm going to have to sort something out so I might have that tank for just one of them and I've contemplated putting a female flower horn in with the parrots but I'm not 100% yet whether that's going to work or whether it's going to be a disaster. So we'll have to wait and see. But we've got a while for that yet. So if there's anybody that has flower horns, anybody that's mixed female flower horns with parrots before, please drop a comment down below. Let me know because every time I do research, it's just flower horn general. It doesn't specify male or females. I don't know if like betas they have different temperaments or whether it's just they are classed as the flower horn because they all have the same aggressions but yeah let us know what you think down below drop a comment in the uh, comment section funnily enough and while you're down there hit that subscribe button it's absolutely free and if you hit the notification bell next to it you'll even get well you should get notifications when i do post a new video up as well 20 minutes later okay so now that they've been acclimated it's time to let them go in now keeping in mind in this tank already there is the three blue dolphin cichlids there is the rainbows and there is the angelfish there is now also the 15 convicts so as they're only small we should get away with it for a while I'm going to have to keep an eye on this tank otherwise they'll have to come out and go somewhere else but we're running out of space okay so now that we've got both the original females in this tank there's still plenty of space in here I think there's still a couple of the little platy fry in the back as well so that'll give them something to eat rather than trying to catch them 
but they've got plenty of space to grow and time before I have to upgrade the tank anyway because they're still only small themselves but now that the other ones are acclimated it's time to get them out look at the size of him Jesus Christ that alone has got to be worth that hundred platies let alone the fact that they're a breeding pair look at the colors look at the cock oh my god this is what i've been wanting for ages but yet silly me decided starting as a juvie would be a better idea at least at this size you actually know the genders right so now let's get the female out okay so i was told that the female has a few injuries due to as you can see on the side due to the uh, the breeding process obviously I'm not interested in breeding them I'm interested in keeping them and loving them so this girl here has got a lot of healing that she needs to get doing you can see she has been absolutely battered now apparently Gorgeous George, and I think he said Marion, from a film called Snatch. Yeah, never heard of it. But now that we know, we've got a male, a female, and another two females. I want names for these guys. So put a male and three female names in the comments down below, and we'll see what we name them i want everybody getting involved i'm getting 100 plus views on these videos so i want about 100 plus comments don't be shy no name is a bad name mind you some of them might make me laugh but i want everybody's opinions tell you what at the risk of repeating myself oh my god i am absolutely buzzing 100 platies for free yesterday and a lot of them were fry swapped for a couple of adult flower horns these have got to be about 100 quid a piece or at least the male anyway i'm not sure about how much females go for but say there's 50 there's 100 so there's 150 quid for what 100 free platies if that is not a bargain i do not know what is Oh my god, absolutely stunning. state of this tank these bloody parrots are just digging out the cave and it doesn't matter how many times you try to tidy it up and what a surprise it's granddad over here that's digging it all out and all and he's upside down what is he doing upside down 
Yeah, you're definitely being called Grandad. <laughs> Alright, so on that note, I'm going to leave you here. Oh my god, I mean, oh, come on. Can it get any better, honestly? But yeah, as I said, we're going to be getting the electrics done tomorrow, so hopefully that'll all be sorted. I'll put that into a next update video. But yeah, for now, we're going to say goodbye. So again, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.